Hello. In this video, I will briefly talk about Titan plugin for Revit. I'll explain what it's used for and discuss some of the new features in version 2024. Titan is used for designing steel structures in Revit. It makes the process more convenient and efficient. The Titan tools will help you fully utilize steel connection library, consider sub-elements and individual plates, properly distribute structural elements into groups, and generate bill of materials by groups for highly detailed models. One of the key features is the numbering command. Numbering has quite a wide range of functions. For example, using numbering, you can add shared parameters to sub-elements into steel connections. This applies to both plates and beams. It is essential to obtain needed schedules and add parameters for these elements. You can add parameters related to the geometry of the elements, such as dimensions, area, and weight. Additionally, you can use certain constant parameters. Titan's functionality allows you to add your custom parameters to this table, assign them GIDs, set them as variables or constant values, and designate different data types or parameter groups. Similarly, you can do the same for profiles into steel connections such as brackets. You can also add a few parameters to them. This level of customization and flexibility helps you to tailor the data and information according to your specific needs within the project. On the Structural Frame Parameters tab, you can set general parameters for the structural frame. In particular, there is one important detail. In order to correctly calculate the length of structural elements, you will need to use the True Beam Length parameter. This parameter takes into account the shortening of the structural frame element using modifiers. There is also a Family tab. In this tab, you can pre-monitor which families have been used in your project, to which construction group they belong, and whether the construction group is a type parameter or an instance parameter. Besides adding parameters, you can also perform preliminary numbering and configure prefixes for assemblies. Here, you can specify the group number and how it should be named. For example, number 1 may represent the group of beams, and the prefix BM will be assigned to all beams, BW, two braces, and so on. You can add prefixes and enter values to determine which parameters will be added for assembly numbers. The parameters in which the numbering will be recorded are determined in the numbering parameter table. Here you specify the parameter from which the construction group will be taken, and also indicate in which parameter for attached elements, such as profiles or plates inside steel joints, the inherited group number and preliminary number parameter will be recorded. We can also record the name of the construction group using Titan. If necessary, you can assign the preliminary number to the system parameter mark by checking the corresponding box. Customizable parameters can be added for different element categories, either as a variable or manually. For example, you can add a parameter as a constant value for plates, both inside joints and for single plates. After setting all the parameters, you can proceed with the numbering. If there are any warnings, for example, if families are loaded into your project that use the same parameters that you will use for steel structures, you will see a corresponding warning. You can unload these families or choose to ignore the warning, knowing that their parameters may be overwritten. The current process involves numbering and assigning parameters, after the numbering is completed, you will be presented with a report that shows the preliminary numbers assigned to the elements. Directly from this report window, you will be able to highlight the corresponding elements in the model and see how the numbering process was done. This will allow you to visually verify the results of the numbering and ensure that the elements have been correctly numbered according to the specified parameters. Now we can highlight the elements. To do this, simply click on the corresponding rows. For example, we have beams BM1, BM2, BM3, columns, and two types of braces, WB1 and WB2. We can also see in the model how parameters have been assigned to different elements, such as beams inside joints. Here is weight, surface area, dimensions, and preliminary number. And for plates, an additional parameter that we added is also included. An important aspect is how Titan determines the association of any detail with a specific assembly. Since the ability to create assemblies and use groups for elements from the steel tab is restricted in Revit, we must find workarounds. Here, the same principle used in the advanced steel is employed, where assemblies are grouped based on welded and bolted connections. If the connection is on shop, then these elements will automatically be grouped into an assembly. This can be verified during the modeling stage by using the Highlight Assembly button. By clicking on it, we can highlight the assembly, and all elements belonging to that assembly will be colored accordingly. This means that all of them are connected on shop welds. 
we can also directly check the connections themselves. Welded connections are represented by crosses. By hovering over such a cross, we can check which elements it connects. In this case, for example, it connects the plate and the column. The same principle generally applies to bolted connections. So, we can also highlight the bolts, and a warning will appear indicating that these bolts are installed on site, meaning they will not combine elements into an assembly. However, they still connect something, so these elements will also be highlighted. After the numbering process, we can access the schedules and review the results. In particular, the schedules display an amount of elements of the model. Plates are processed based on their material thickness and are grouped accordingly. Elements are also distributed among the construction groups. This way, you can obtain detailed schedules for models with joints, taking into account the elements within those joints. Additionally, the steel consumption per construction group is correctly accounted for because the groups for joint elements inherit from the main structural framing elements. This allows for accurate material consumption calculations for each construction group. If for any reason you want to delete the previously assigned parameter values or numbering, you can do so using the Remove Numbering button. In this case, you will be able to clear the parameters value that were previously recorded for the structural frame or for individual elements within steel joints, plates, and beams. You can also add or remove specific parameter rows for which you want to clear the values. After clicking Run button, the parameter values will be cleared. This allows you to reset any unwanted parameters or numbering from your model. Yes, in Titan, there are tools for indicating elements in the model. For example, you can quickly check which sections are used in the model and color them differently using the Sections by Colors command. Similarly, the Group of Structures by Colors command can be used to color sections based on the structural group they belong to, providing a visual representation of how structural elements are distributed among the construction groups. These features make it easier to analyze and understand the organization of the model and the distribution of elements based on their properties. Some other commands from Advanced Steel have also been borrowed in Titan. For example, to make work with connection elements more convenient, add element to connection, and remove element from connection commands have been added. If you added a bolt group and forgot to connect certain elements, such as a plate, you can easily change this without the need to completely redraw the entire connection. To do this, you can use add element to connection command. Select the bolt group and the elements you want to connect. You can choose multiple elements and add them one by one in the desired order. Then click finish button and the connection will be updated, appearing correct and complete. Additionally, if you want to disconnect elements, you can remove them from the connection. These commands work for both welded connections and for any bolted connections, whether they are on shop or on site. Another tool that will make work with the model easier is Convert Structural Element to Beam. When using steel connections or modifiers for structural frames and columns, they turn into slightly different elements. For example, regular structural frame elements automatically undergo auto-join for trimming. However, when using tools from Revit Steel Tab, various modifiers are typically used for trimming. If you want to immediately rebuild the constructed elements to work with modifiers, you can use Convert Structural Element to Beam command. This can be useful, for example, when building custom steel joints and you want beams not to be automatically trimmed by columns. The Titan update is available for all Revit versions from 2020 to 2024. Additionally, a new settings button has been added, allowing you to change the plugin's language. There is also a new tab where you can monitor the status of your license if you're using the Pro version. Another tab called Information provides details about the product and its developers. Use the Titan plugin in your projects, and best of luck with your work.